Yeah, this is as close as we can get to that private community where Lori and Chad have been staying. So far, we haven't been able to hear from anyone who has seen them recently in these last few days, begging the question, are they even still here? All quiet on the island of Kauai when it comes to the Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell case. Their curtains are shut, and neighbors say they've only seen them once since Saturday, smiling and waving as they got into a car. It's been one week since Lori violated a court order from Idaho by not showing up with the kids to prove they're okay. Now we've learned a storage unit in Rexburg contained JJ and Hiley's toys and belongings. They haven't been seen since September, and during the police investigation into their whereabouts, Lori and Chad hopped on a plane to Hawaii and have been cooped up since, leaving Idaho in their rearview mirror and no sign of the kids with them. On September 5th, Lori sent an email to Life Academy and Gilbert. She wrote that their lives have changed drastically since her husband, Charles Vallow, passed away. His death is being investigated by the Chandler Police Department. She told the school she had been offered a job out of state and had to accept it, explaining JJ would not be returning to the school. 18 days later was the last time JJ was ever seen in Idaho. Life Academy issued a statement saying, our hearts continue to ache during this time. We all want to know where JJ is and know that he is safe. JJ is a beautiful boy who has a smile that goes on for days. They also said Lori always had a smile when seen on campus with JJ. Lori also sent this text message to a family friend at the beginning of September saying we are headed out of state. We are trying to move on with life. It's not been easy, but I have to do what I can for the kids. Thanks for everything. Now, three deaths surrounding this couple are all under investigation. That includes her husband, Charles Vallow, her brother, Alex Cox, who shot him, and Chad Daybell's wife, Tammy. So now that they are focusing on finding these two missing children, authorities in Idaho and Hawaii remain tight-lipped. Guys, back to you. Kim, you may have mentioned this, but a search warrant of their house in Rexford, it, did they find all of the children's clothes and the rest of their belongings? I know the toys and the bikes were in the storage unit, but what about the rest of all of their stuff? That's a good question. Uh, well, all we know so far is that in the storage unit were the kids' belongings. We haven't heard anything about their items in that house. I know that I knocked on Chad Daybell's family house in Rexburg, Idaho. There were people in there. Her, his older sons were there, and they said no comment. So someone is still living in his house. I am not sure about her townhouse, though. That was in Rexburg, Idaho. Yeah, and again, those kids have not been seen since September up in Idaho. Kim Powell, live tonight in uh, Hawaii. Kim, thanks for your continued reporting on this story.